19 year old Renisha McBride is dead. Police telling us she took her last breath on this porch on Outer Drive in Dearborn Heights. Southeastern Michigan is one of the most segregated areas in the country. That's a fact. It has been a fact for decades. It's a kind of apartheid where the city of Detroit is 80% plus black um, and is surrounded by very segregated suburbs. Dearborn Heights is what we call a sunset town. And it's basically, you know, towns that historically black people shouldn't be caught in after dark. It's something that um, was very common in the 50s and it continues to today. Would you walk around that neighborhood at night? Um, I should be able to. They're telling the media that this was an accident. If this was an accident, the last time I checked, that's manslaughter, you know? But I personally am outraged that a 19-year-old girl was shot in the face less than 36 hours ago and no one's in custody. I find that um, outrageous. Renisha McBride. Renisha McBride. Renisha McBride. It doesn't make any sense why he isn't here right now, locked up in the cell, on some sort of charge of murder, manslaughter, whatever. It is, it is not just. Why is he still at home? Renisha could have easily been me. She had a life that was worth us gathering here today. Every life in our community is valuable, whether you're in Detroit, whether you're in Dearborn, whether you're in Inkster, in particular as far as black life. The, the, the fact of the matter is, here, here, here's a person who was in an accident and she's trying to seek help. Gets a bullet in her head. I'm sick and tired of seeing black women murdered, raped, beaten, shot, and nobody's talking about it. I'm sick of the apathy. I'm sick of the apathy in the community. I'm sick of the apathy in the media. And it's it, enough is enough. Where is this man? Who is he connected to? That's and right. why don't we know who he is? That's right, why Trace. is he not in there? That's if, I, right. if my child, 19, if, if my son was 19 and shot somebody, he would be under that jail. This is wrong. This is wrong, and everybody needs to be out here complaining about it. This young woman is dead. This is always wrong. This is nothing new. This is nothing new. Dearborn is a city of restrictive covenants, right? This is a place that said we prefer our own kind to live here, right? They've had to take that to the Supreme Court. This is fertile ground for the new apartheid. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy. She needs to step in and call this man with call her out, call her out, call her out. And perhaps U.S. Attorney Barbara McCoy at the federal level may need to investigate Everybody. her civil rights being violated according to federal law. We need some justice here. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Renisha McBride. Renisha McBride. Renisha McBride. Renisha McBride.